What's up everyone? China Cycling here. Sorry for the lack of video these days. Been doing a lot more riding, trying to get back into shape. Uh, and I just got back from a ride. And as I was riding, I noticed a rattling noise coming from a bike. And it's always hard to try to figure out what's rattling. But I, I figured out it was this front water bottle cage. And uh, so I took out the water bottle and I, I tried tightening the nut. And the nut's already tight. And so what that means is uh, it's actually down here that's came loose. So your water bottle cages are held onto the frame uh, usually by being screwed into some bosses or riv nuts are sometimes called and uh, over time they can come loose. Uh, this frame I've been riding for around a year but this one's already come loose. The back one is is all right but I'll probably still tighten it up at the same time but this one's come loose so uh, I'll let you know how we can fix that. As I say uh, just tightening this screw won't do anything. Uh, this screw is already tightened. If you tighten it anymore, uh, it's just going to start pulling out the rivet nut inside. So what you have to do is take off the cage and go from there. So grab your Allen keys. Uh, it's usually the four mil Allen key or hex wrench if you want to call it that. And you just uh, take off your water bottle cage. Keep your nuts safe. Okay. So once you take it off, it should look something like this. You'll probably have a bunch of dirt in there or whatever. So grab a, grab a rag and give it a quick wipe down. As you're wiping it down, you'll actually be able to feel like this rattling around a bit loose inside. Uh, if you take out the nut that you just took out and screw it in gentle, gently and wiggle it around, you can feel the whole thing moving around inside the frame. So that's what we're going to fix. So how are we going to fix it? Uh, this is the M5 nut that was keeping the water bottle cage in the you know, shorter, titanium, lightweight. Great for riding, but not good for fixing this. We do need an M5 nut, but hopefully you want something a bit longer and maybe a bit harder. So I've got this longer steel nut. Uh, I wouldn't want that extra weight. I know it's only a few grams, but I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't want that extra weight in my bike all the time, but for today, it's going to be perfect. So we've got a longer M5 nut. And then you want to find an M6 bolt, uh, just a bolt that's slightly bigger in diameter than the nut, just so it can go all the way over. And this is going to act as like a brace to go against the frame uh, that's going to bring the rivet nut inside, bring the boss inside and crush it up against the frame without damaging anything out here. So yeah, just an M6, just one size bigger than that. It should go on there. You shouldn't have to thread it and it should be fine. If your rev nuts have become super, super loose, then even as you try to screw in this, uh, the actual rev nut inside might just spin, spin, spin round. So we want to eliminate any friction from that screwing in motion that we can. So we're going to take some grease and slap some grease on these threads here. This is, this is definitely one of those jobs that's worth doing often. Uh, definitely worth tightening these up before they get too loose. If they get so loose, then you may not even be able to unscrew your water bottle nuts because as you try to unscrew the nut, the, the rib nut inside, the boss inside might just be spinning around. So as soon as you notice these guys getting loose, just every so often, once a year, once every two years, give this a quick go. Uh, it used to happen with my cheap Chinese frames. I thought it was just because it was a cheap Chinese frame, but hey, no, I finally specialized, it happens too. So uh, maybe I should stop throwing my bottles in and pulling them out of the cage like a gorilla and use a bit more finesse, but hey ho, we'll do that when we can. So you just, you know, grease up this nut, Bob's your uncle. Uh, if your rev nut is just spinning inside and you can't remove your bolt, then yeah, you may have to drill it out. But uh, that's, that's a video for another day. Hopefully I never have to make that video because hopefully that will happen to me. But yeah, okay, so we've got M6 nut on an M, uh, M6 bolt, sorry, on an M5 nut. And we're gonna screw this guy in. But yeah, okay, so when we go, and just keep going until it gets there. Then find an open spanner, an open wrench that fits your oversized nut that you just put on. So for me, a 10 mil one will do fine. So I put that there and you, your goal for this is just to stop that from spinning around. And then take your, take your Allen key and then start tightening up. You don't wanna go, you don't wanna go too crazy. Uh, but try, so tighten it up and then, and then loosen it a bit. 
and pull it out a little bit and then give it a wiggle. Yeah. And so the, the boss has stopped rattling around now. I'll probably gonna, gonna give it a bit more of a turn just to make sure it stays fixed. So again, tighten it down, tight-ish. Grab your 10 mil spanner, throw your spanner on there. Allen key in, not crazy tight. I'll just give it a, a bit of a nick. And then, okay. Try not to drop your tools everywhere. And as we're here, and as we've already got the cage off, we may as well do the other bolt as well. For me, it was just this one that had worked its way loose. Obviously, as you put the bottle in and out, this one gets a lot more of the abuse. But uh, as we're here, and as we've got it off, we may as well just give this one a bit of a tighten too. Like I said, prevention is a lot better than cure on this job. So again, get it finger tight, grab your 10 mil spanner, just stop that guy from spinning around, and just give it a bit of a tightening, done. So for me, that one was loose by about a third of a turn. So just tighten it up by a third of a turn and you're done. Take out your little tool you've made. All that's left to do now is reinstall your bottle cage. I love these bottle cages, by the way. Uh, Tacx Dida, I think they're called. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, I've used plenty of bottle cages. And uh, definitely one of the things I want to skimp on. There's lots of lightweight Chinese bottle cages out there, but they don't grip the cages very well, so. Throw the bottle back in. No more rattling, nice and secure, done. So yeah, rattles on your bike can drive you crazy, so that's a quick way to get rid of one of them. Again, three minute, five minute job, and that is a rattle gone. This guy's a little bit loose, I might tighten him up too, but yeah. Give them a titan once every year, once every two years. Stop a rattle and stop the problem before it gets too big. Again, sorry for the lack of video these days. I've been doing too much riding, but as the pollution gets worse and the temperatures get lower, I'll be doing less riding, I think, and more videos. I've actually shot a whole bunch of videos. I've got uh, like uh, six or seven videos shot that I just need to edit. So I'll be getting around to those as soon as I can. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already so you see those videos when they come out. Any questions about this little hack, about this little fix, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, keep riding guys and get rid of these annoying rattles that drive you crazy. That's all for today. I hope this video helped you. Give, you, give it a like if it did. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. China Cycling out.